In question 6a, we are given functions f of x and g of x. In part 1, we must find the two values of x where the functions are equal. To solve this, we begin by setting the function definitions equal to each other. Then, we group everything together by subtracting x plus 4 from both sides. We simplify the right-hand side and then factorise the resulting quadratic. The only way two numbers can multiply to zero is if one of them is equal to zero. So either x minus 3 is zero or x plus 2 is zero. This gives us two solutions, x equals 3 and x equals minus 2. In part 2, we need to find the area of the shaded region in a diagram. In the given interval, f is always greater than g, so we can obtain the area by integrating f of x minus g of x between the given bounds of minus 1 and 2. f of x minus g of x simplifies down to x minus x squared plus 6. We integrate this expression, sub in the upper bound of 2, sub in the lower bound of minus 1, and then subtract the answers. This gives us a final answer of 33 over 2 square units. In part b, we have an equation involving an integral, and we must solve for the unknown constant b. To begin, let's forget about the limits and focus on the integration. b is a constant, and multiplicative constants can be brought outside the integral sign. Now we can integrate e to the bx using a rule from the formula book. Simplifying gives us an answer of e to the bx. To find the definite integral, we need to sub in the upper limit of b, sub in the lower limit of 0, and then subtract. Simplifying this gives us e to the power of b squared minus 1. We can write this expression in for the integral on the left hand side of the given equation. From here we add 1 to both sides, take ln of both sides, and then square root both sides. The question stated that b is positive, so we only want to take the positive solution.